We're at the Mary Rose Museum in Portsmouth Historic Dockyard, right alongside HMS Victory, and about 20 yards from where the Mary Rose was built in 1509 to 1511. Divers went out there, led by Alex McKee. 50 years ago, they plotted to go and find the Mary Rose. It took them six years of searching before they found it, 11 years of excavation in what has become, the, and still is, the world's largest maritime excavation. The May Rose was built by Henry VIII when he came to the throne. It was his favourite ship. It's the first ship of our standing navy. But what is important for this collection? This is the only 16th century ship on display anywhere in the world. 19,000 artefacts found from within her. It is the English tomb of Tutankhamun. It's the English Pompeii. There's nothing like it. It is the world of 1545 absolutely intact to the last detail. There is no similar representation of the High Renaissance anywhere in Europe. This range from the precious to the everyday is unique. I feel like the captain of a ship here, and they are my men. We have their human remains. When I look at them, we've reconstructed their faces to see what they look like. I feel a certain responsibility to them for telling their story. We've been conserving the ship ever since 1982. Meanwhile, we built this museum around the ship, sitting in a grade one listed ancient monument, which is the dry dock. The shape of the museum itself echoes the curvature of the ship. And if you look at the ship in it, it sits very comfortably. It's a jewel box. The Mary Rose is the jewel. It is deliberately a dark museum, not only for the conservation process that's underway, but also to give the impression you're on board a ship. Rather extraordinarily, as they walk down the center line of the mirror image, people often turn to our wonderful volunteers and say, how have you got the deck moving? We haven't. But it, it curves with the curvature of the ship. There's the sound, just the gentle creaking sound of the ship moving at sea. It comes alive. People are deeply moved by it. Portsmouth has always been a very important city and of course with the maritime history we have here, the fact that the Mary Rose belongs in Portsmouth as well has just enhanced the whole profile of the city. 2013 has been a remarkable year. We opened the museum at the end of May and since then we've been nearly overwhelmed by visitors. We've had something like 400,000 through in these 10 plus months, vastly successful huge educational program, wonderful feedback. We are moving forward, but lots of ideas for the future, so we don't stop here, our story continues. Mm -hmm.